Hello, welcome to the Dave Dan Show presented by Buffalo Wild Wings. I'm Greg Royce here with Stevenson Cross Country Head Coach Dave Dan. Coach, we didn't catch up with you last week because you were traveling back from California. Um, talk a little bit about how that meet went for you guys out at, um, out in California and the whole experience of that. You know, getting to be out there for a few days. Yeah, so it was great. It was a great experience. It was great for them to to get out of region and race some of the top teams from the West region. Um, Claremont Mud Scripts was there. Pomona Pitzer, Occidental. Those are some of the the top schools on the West Coast. So yeah. it was great to get out and see how we stacked up against them. And just the the whole trip was just a great experience. I mean, uh, th they all enjoyed themselves. So and that was for, that was one yeah. of the main main points of the Absolutely. whole trip. And then, um, you know, particularly on the men's side, you know, finishing fourth, you know, against some of those teams in national, I think you opened a couple of eyes in a different part of the country, you know, the Stevenson cross country, you know, as a program to, you know, to be respected and reckoned with. Yeah. And I was hoping to do a little bit better yeah. on the men's side, but, um, I mean, it's tough. I mean, we traveled all the way out to the Absolutely. West coast and yeah. it's, it's always hard for everybody to put together their best race on that day. Yeah. And, um, we had one of our runners, Brett Olin, lost his shoe at the start line. So yeah. it was. So I mean, I mean, I mean, anything can happen. So oh, it's absolutely. Just, yeah. Yeah. Now, let's shift gears. You, um, as a team, you didn't race last week, but you were active. Um, you ran the Baltimore Marathon this past Saturday. Finished second with no with no meet. You were able to. You know, some of your team was able to, was there to cheer you on. And um, you know, just talk a little bit about that a little bit about your experience in the marathon this year, and it's particularly. You know the new finish line with uh, finishing downtown as opposed to in the parking lot of Cameron Yards. Yeah, I mean it was a wonderful experience. It was great to have the athletes down there. I mean they were all over the place. So um, yeah. it was funny at the end, like over that last mile, they were yelling some of the stuff that I yelled to them yeah. at the end of races. <laughs> but I could tell they almost felt bad because of yeah. how bad I was hurting at that point. Yeah. <laughs> but um, and then just finishing downtown instead of um, between Raven Stadium and Camden Yards, I think was was really great. I mean. Yeah to finish and look around and see skyscrapers in the harbor. I feel like yeah. I feel like it's a good thing for the future. Yeah, it feels makes it feel a little bit more like you're in the city as opposed to, you know, just in a parking lot. Well obviously Camden Yards and MT Bank Stadium are great. You know, it's not as much of a city feel as probably finishing. Yeah, harbor. it felt like a normal big city marathon, which yeah. I think is what they're trying to go for. Yeah. Now this week, um, what we've kind of been talking about all year, um, Mac championships, um, Preseason poll came out, or not preseason poll, but the pre-championship poll came out. Uh, the men are picked second behind Messiah, got a couple first-place votes, and the women are picked eighth. So, I mean, does that kind of fall in line with your expectations? Obviously, they're hoping to do a little bit better on both sides. Yeah, so the woman finished eighth last year, so our goal is to improve on that. Um, we did not run Kelly last year because she right. redshirted because of injury. So I think we can improve on that, yeah. but again, I mean, everybody has to – to run well on that day, but I feel like the women are a top five or six team this year. Yeah. And then the men, I mean, since last year, they've been talking about how they, they really want to put it together and win, and it's it's going to be close. I mean, yeah. Messiah's going to be tough. Um, DeSalle's always put together a good race, Misericordia, yeah. but um, I think it's going to come down to us and Messiah, and I mean, everybody has to run their best on that day. Yeah, absolutely. Obviously, you know, one day, you know, one race, anything can happen. You know, you could, you've seen Messiah a couple times, um, so you kind of know, kind of a little bit about them, but they know a little bit about you as well. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, I'm confident in in our training and and our guys are too. Like, I mean, the whole season's been geared up for the next three weeks. So, yeah. um, I think we're, we're in a good place. All right, Coach. Well, we wish you the best of luck at MAC Championships on Saturday. Uh, we'll talk to you next week. For Thanks. Dave Verdan, this is Greg Royce. And this has been the Dave Verdan Show.